Evolution can best be described as descent with modification. In a nutshell, what this means is that different individuals of the same species display different versions of a trait. Because in a given environment, some versions of a trait will make one more likely to survive and mate than others, the genetic composition of a population will change over time in response to its environment. If a large population becomes split into smaller ones, and those smaller populations aren't allowed to readily mate, genetic differences will accumulate between the populations based on their environment. After enough time passes, the populations will no longer be capable of mating at all, and a new species is said to have formed. The main mechanisms driving evolution are mutations, natural selection, and genetic drift. Random mutations provide the raw information necessary for the other mechanisms to work upon. Natural selection is by definition a non-random process whereby the environment favors one trait leading to its accumulation in the population. It is precisely for this reason that evolution is not a blind random process because, after all, one of its main mechanisms is by definition non-random. Lastly, genetic drift is the random change in gene frequency which, in small populations, tends to accelerate evolution. Despite public opinion to the contrary, the scientific debate as to whether or not evolution happens ended nearly a hundred years ago. Now, evolution is known as a unifying theory of biology simply because it unites the disciplines. What this means is that advancements gained in one field can be applied to others. It's also worth noting that the theory of evolution isn't about whether or not evolution occurs. That's an undisputable fact. The theory, however, describes where, when, how, and the precise mechanisms by which evolution occurs. Indeed, evolution is universally accepted as the origin of species simply because every aspect of every discipline in biology confirms it independently. All of these analyses independently line up to give us a clear picture as to the history of life on this planet. It is for this reason that after 150 years of rigorous scientific testing every day, not a single observation or experiment has been made which has falsified the unifying theory of biology.